how to pay almost zero taxes when you are in Italy. Welcome everyone guys, I'm Fausto Carnevale, I'm an Italian accountant and today I'm also in the sunny Italy, I just come back one week in my region, Abruzzo, and I wanted to talk about how to live in Italy without paying taxes. Of course, <laughs> we make a disclaimer how to do it legally and uh, in this video, before we start, I don't want in any uh, circumstances to suggest and I'm not suggesting to don't to do not pay the taxes. I'm just giving an advice to a specific category of people. Also, if you need more assistance, I wanted to, to remark that we offer a consultancy service. So you will find in the description of the video the link to contact us. So why I'm doing this video today? Basically because it is based on the experience of some of our clients. Some of people who contact us and they simply ask, okay, I will be three months in Italy, four months in Italy, what's happening with my CV, what they need to do, etc, etc. So today, a quick uh, uh, introduction, a quick uh, review, a quick advice to do not pay tax in Italy, but this is only if you don't want to live in Italy 100%. The general rule of the Italian uh, legislation is that you need to, in order to be considered fiscal resident in Italy, you need to stay at least six months, at least 183 days. This applies exactly to the Italian law and also most of the European country law. So let's say that uh, I moved to Italy in August, you are not fiscal resident in Italy for the 2022. So first, easy trick. If you move in Italy now or if you move to Italy after July, you don't pay taxes in Italy. And this is uh, actually uh, a luxury thing because you can live in Italy five months and a half and still be considered fiscal resident in your country. How uh, and what what are the things to avoid? So let's say you move you're from the States or Canada or Australia for instance or UK you move to Italy. Okay you move to Italy uh, in August 2022 or 2023 for the sake of argument. You move to Italy and you do not rent a house. You stay in Airbnb because I said that by law, below six months, you are not considered uh, legally an Italian citizen. But if you are manifesting the necessity to rent a house with a normal contract, the tax authorities may understand or may do the hypothesis that you want to live in Italy. So they can try to investigate a bit, a little bit more than you. So you do not rent an apartment, you do not open a bank account, and if you can, you do not open a codice fiscale as well. Only after you decide to move to Italy, for sure, you will rent an apartment, buy a car, do whatever you want. Okay? So the second thing you can do, you can move to a country close to Italy, for instance, Slovenia, for instance, Austria, for instance, Switzerland, for instance, France, for instance, Monaco. And you can go to Italy anytime you want, but you try to go, let's say, less than six months. Anytime you want, I'm saying, even if you rent a house in Italy, you will have a second house in Italy and you will stay, for instance, as a fiscal resident in Slovenia or in Croatia or again in France, which hopefully they will, they don't speak English, but uh, you know, even in Italy they don't speak English, so <laughs> you don't lose a lot. Then it depends, of course, if you, if you go to Switzerland, they speak Italian. <coughs> or at least in the border with uh, the Italy, no? So anyway, uh, that's what you have to do. You have to be smart. You have to be smart. 
You have to also understand that you cannot trick the Italian text. You cannot simply go and do not care about open a, a, a codice fiscale, open a bank account. No, because because then you will. Do you have the, your tax authority? For instance, I don't know England or USA, and they may say, "Hey, well, okay, where are you? You have to owe me taxes." And in Italy, all of the Sunday, they wake up and they say, hey, you, you also have to owe me taxes. And then you will spend a lot of money hiring a good attorney or a good accountant to show them, but actually you can't even show them. You, you sh will show them that you are ignorant. Okay, then of course, there are, uh, avoid, uh, they avoid the double tax pool. They, they will not apply to you to taxes, it's illegal. But can you imagine? You have to prove them. You have to prove them. You have to hire an accountant. You won't sleep at night. I'm sure of that. You won't sleep at night when you know that you have 100,000 euro and 100,000 dollar and you earn 200,000 dollar in one year. So all of a sudden you, you will have to pay uh, all the salary to the taxes. Be aware of studying the Italian law beware of following the two advices that I give you at the beginning on how to pay zero taxes in Italy but of course uh, you need to be compliant and consider to stay abroad consider as well to test testing to live in Italy and do not try to trick the Italian government because they know how people from abroad behave until next time, Fausto Carnevale. Description below, please subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And in the description below, in the description, sorry, you will find more information to contact us. So, you know, now I'm in Italy. I am just going out in the sunny Italy of mid of September, 23, 25 degree. And see, I'm just going out. If you see, I'm down because I wanted to see uh, even this Sunday, last Sunday, I mean. Now what I will do, I think I will go out just to enjoy an espresso for only one euro and twenty. <laughs> see you next time.